Gaming. All right, Resi Eves. You know, Corpse used to use this as a combat training simulator. Logged many hours I did. Hmm, where's Cylon? Uh, after we watched Resident Evil Retribution, he said he'd rather smoke a cyanide cigarette covered in gasoline-soaked hornets and be put out with a sledgehammer than have to watch or play anything Resident Evil ever again. Mm -hmm. well, I can respect that. Yes. So this is the 2015 HD remaster remake of the 2002 Resident Evil on the GameCube, which was itself a remake of the 1996 original on PlayStation, but, uh... Let's dive right in and see how bad I can humiliate myself here. Resident Evil. How did they get Christian Bale to read that? <laughs> they uh, threatened to leak another one of his temper tantrums. Okay, so you can play in the original 4-3, where the new wide will play wide. Alternate or original. Okay, subtitles off. We don't need our titles subbed. Uh, this is their clever way of uh, letting you pick the difficulty. How do you like your games? Like well, going on a hike? <laughs> I like my games like I like my women. Reindeer. Weird. I would like my gaming to be akin to anything but going on a hike. How about like sitting on my ass? Ow! <laughs> Over the top of menu sound effects. So we'll be pre-steroids, Chris. Once uh, they kind of went the Michael Bay route with Resident Evil, they decided that the protagonist needed to uh, have lots of back knee. Yeah, he looks oddly human here. <laughs> yeah. Before he started shooting shark adrenaline into his butt cheeks. Well, I'm glad the save was successful. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Uh, sir, no talking on a helicopter tour. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. But they were gluten-free, so don't worry. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate. Whee! But we lost contact. Look, Chris. There's a good place to get killed. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Hmm. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a derelict? Save for the remaining body of Kevin. I got too close to the blades. <laughs> It's a darker ending for Home Alone. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into... a nightmare. All our cutscenes were upscaled from 480p to 1080p. Oh god. It was a nightmare. <laughs> da 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 da. He looks so smooth. Yeah. <laughs> That is a level of makeup I did not know existed. There's a death metal vocalist out there somewhere. Oh, so Stars lets elderly gypsy women join their tactical squad. That's very progressive of them. Sure. Well, stumbled into Michael Vick's yard. Joseph F. The F is for fucked. <laughs> You're a big help, Jill. <laughs> Rubbernecker. No, stop. My god. Joseph. It's bacon! <laughs> you know, the ironic thing is his middle name is Alpha. Joseph, we hardly knew ye. I'm come on in. Ah, they're barking stock sound effects at us. I find dog bark number three to be the most terrifying. Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? Sorry, I gotta pick the kids up from soccer practice. Uh, 
Chris, this way. Follow the sound of my choppy delivery. The uh, Resident Evil film's answer to pulling off these zombie dogs was uh, just to splatter Dobermans with spaghetti. I don't doubt that for a second. Pasta a la pooch. Answer their survival horror. I hardly know her. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill. Captain Whiskers? Myself. That's my cat's name. We don't know where <laughs> Barry is. Captain Whiskers. Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? Who cares? I like Please. my Resident Evil like I like my Captain Crunch no. without the fucking berries. What was that? <laughs> Sounded like someone just charged a plot device. I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. I figure we'll get killed faster if we split up. Chris? <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Uh, thanks for hinting at a romance that'll never happen, Jill. Yeah, they never developed that at all. Ah, uh, the door animation's still intact. Well, this looks great. Controls are good. So, I guess you can use the analogs as well now? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's more Resident Evil 5 and 6 style. But I think I might stick with the old school tank controls. This looks great. Wow. Very impressive. <laughs> so, I don't really understand why you'd have a typewriter in a dining room. Maybe this is Stephen King's summer home. Just in case you want to take dictation while people are eating. Just says nom 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 nom. Chomp chomp gurgle bird fart. That was the zombie dog. <laughs> Man, zombie dog farts would be heinous beyond words. I bet this is what Martha Stewart's prison cell looked like. I can just see her doing a show like, today we're going to learn how to make toilet wine. <laughs> a classic cutscene. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, you two clearly want to be alone. He's got Marty Feldman eyes. Well, everything seems to be in order here. <laughs> 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 for a second there, I thought I was watching the video for Gooey by Glass Animals. <laughs> you were mistaken, sir. Well, I guess I'll go tell him what's going on here. Class 3 zombie infestation. <laughs> Casual stroll back to the... He looked very nonchalant after running into that. Yeah. Wesker? Jill? Here, Captain Whiskers. <laughs> Where did they go? I don't understand. We did everything right. We split up. Chris, we're down here. We got shrunk. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk my team. Okay. So the combat knife is essentially worthless. And normally, if I recall, something nasty happens if you try to do this, but just for the sake of, just for the hell of it, we'll do it anyway. Ah! You're not Captain Whiskers. <laughs> yeah, the dogs are, you gotta be on top of it with... Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Oh man, this is embarrassing. You shoot like a henchman. There we go. I don't know why the dogs make a monkey noise when you kill them, but uh, that they do. Still getting the hangs of the hang of the controls. Probably been a good seven years since I played this back on the good old GameCube. Excuses, excuses. Well, that uh, did not go well. I could have easily avoided that and saved bullets. Really impressed with the... I guess they rebuilt just from the ground up a lot of the textures and 
other assets. Warm up the boys here. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I remember that's mostly useless for the time being. Yeah, uh, Chris didn't have, um, <laughs> that's one thing that these Resident Evil games are pretty bad with, is just not getting character reactions. Okay, so he's over there. I'm not gonna mess with him. You can auto, auto target, which is kind of cheating, <laughs> I think, but. Didn't have that back in my day. Corpse of Kenneth, it looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. Thank I God. <laughs> I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. It's actually just a bootleg of Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth was a good guy, but man did he love to pirate him some movies. He originally came here looking for Marcellus Wallace's soul. <laughs> yes. That was a mini DV tape, too. That's a little too advanced for uh, 1995 or whatever. Or I guess it's supposed to be 1998. Eight. Yeah. yeah. Well, this game came out in 1996. I suppose they might have existed then. I really don't know. There's a corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Bad batch of instant ramen? <laughs> Chris, the ingenious forensic and analyst can just take one look at a corpse and know he instantly died. I will take this because I humiliated myself out there with that dog. Mm -hmm. Off to a great start. Not having played this game in almost a decade, I probably better play it safe from here out. <laughs> Shadows are really great. This is what the newer games completely lack, is just that awesome... Atmosphere. Yes. The A-word. Atmosphere isn't what I think of when you reference the A-word. Aeronautics? Sure. Pretty sure there's gonna be a Zed lurking through here. Oh, saw him in the mirror. Oh, he's a zombie, and he has a receding hairline. Kyle Gass. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How will Tenacious D carry on? Come on, let's see you do a cock push-up now. Maybe a little closer. I don't know if I can make that. Oh, thanks for patting me on the head, Xbox. First kills are special. Well, that is never coming out of the carpet. Fine, I'll go through that door anyway. Apparently your boots don't work. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing with these games. It's like you're supposed to be this badass special ops kind of guy and who can't kick down a door. Can't kick down a door, can only carry six items on his person at any one time. I guess the stars they don't teach you tactical techniques like setting things down. <laughs> nice. Make up for the bullets I wasted on that zombie dog. Or Cerebus, I believe they're called. You want to get it wrong? What God-fearing NRA member doesn't want a handgun magazine? <laughs> Man. Very limited on door options here. down there you yeah you walking around back there well there's really no reason to uh, mess with this guy I will casually stroll away from you sir <laughs> oh good for you uh yes defensive items for when a zombie gets uncomfortably close. Kissably close. <laughs> Isn't that from the Tool album, Ladder Alice? That sounds like that song, The Mantra. 
It's so nice of the monsters to abandon chase once you get through a door. <laughs> They're very lazy that way. Oh, you went through the door. F it. <laughs> I'd have to turn the handle, <laughs> and push, or maybe pull. That's a lot of effort for a zombie. Yeah. It's just kind of like home base. I'm safe. <laughs> I'll just wait. I'm sure somebody else will come through. So we picked up that arrow, and I'm. My memory serves. You can. Oh, it's a green arrow. Ha 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 ha. You have failed this remake. I'm all out of rim shots. Poor man's emerald. Yeah. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you go out back, and there's a little place to put it. Feels like any minute the crimson executioner is gonna pop out. I hope not. I am not prepared to smell that much muscle grease. This door wasn't here in the original game. They added a whole bunch of uh, new sections to the mansion when they re remade this back in 2002. It's pretty nifty. Landscaping by Jack the Ripper. Still getting the hang of the controls. Mutation in the ship, yep. Yeah. Obvious puzzle is obvious. <laughs> At this point, I mean, like, like we were getting at earlier, there's just, I don't know. It, it really seems like if this, if the, there would be another level of realism for me if your character made kind of like snarky comments, like, what is it? Like, he's just so go with the flow with all of this. Yeah, I got the arrowhead and the zombie infested mansion. Now I'm in the backyard. I'll put it in the. Just another day. Yeah. The Evil Within, that, that new game, which is from the creator of Resident Evil, is terrible with that. Just the most horrific shit will happen in front of your character, and they just, like, the most you get out of them is, what the hell? Unflinching of acceptance. Yeah. Will you take the Book of Curses? I will. But don't let your kids read it. It's all kinds of terrible, terrible words to learn in here. Expletives. Yeah. Nothing but expletives. <laughs> the Book of Expletives, that would be a way better name. The Book of Expletives by Andrew Dice Clay. So, yeah, this is typically where people keep their keys embedded into evil books. Oh no, we're gonna have to read? I play video games to get away from reading. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. <laughs> and insert fart joke here. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. But it can hear. <laughs> when all four fall into place, evil will awaken. You know, that picture in the background suggests that this was a much heavier read. <laughs> uh, I'm not complaining. I'm going to start reading one paragraph out of a book and saying that I finished it. Yeah. So, uh, that's conspicuous. I'm sure there's nothing of danger to me or anyone else in there. So, this, uh, is something new they added in the remake. Uh, you have to track down these death masks throughout the mansion and put them here. And again, if memory serves, then something abysmal will happen down here. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> that's the goal. Something maybe. probably leaps out of that coffin suspended by chains. I don't know. Maybe we might we might get a surprise. Some, like, fluffy bunnies might... <laughs> Come pouring forth Come pouring. and rip your throat out. <laughs> it's, it's an entire room full of the uh, bunny rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Run away! Okay, so now we have the mansion key. Uh, it's really trying hard to remember to pull from my dusty memory what to do next. But I the feel steps like you were go here. amazingly uncreaky. Yeah, some parts of this mansion have very good upkeep, and other parts they slacked a bit. Ah, uh, classic room. This just looks great. I'm really impressed with this. Wow. Yeah, and you... I'm guessing something to do with the uh, urn that she's holding. Yeah, I can't remember what's up in there, but... 
A runway beacon? I guess that explains the helicopter crash. I don't re remember it being a super important item. I was but a wee lad when I played this, and I remember... Whoa, that was weird. Controls are... My controller's being a little weird. This is actually how I learned how to push large objects, was by watching this video game. <laughs> I was like, I'll give that I'll give that a try. Works pretty good. It's an educational game. You can do it, put your ass into it. It's a map, okay. Goody gumdrops. Okay. That's useful before Google. <laughs> yeah, this is quite a ways before Google. Pretty sure you get jumped if you go back there, so I'm gonna avoid that for now. You in the wrong hood, motherfucker! This is zombie town! <laughs> you wearing the wrong colors. Gotta have your intestines hanging out around here, sucker. This looks pretty damn good, too. Video game compression really kind of fascinates me. Oh, this is the dog. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if... They switched things back to the way they used to be, because in the original game, when you walked in here the first time, immediately you got attacked by dogs jumping through the windows. And in the remake, the original version of this remake, they swapped it to where it doesn't happen the first time. That was interesting how the window shattered a bit when yeah. you walked in there. Yeah, that they were kind of like like they hit the window and fell back down. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. They made it better. The windows. <laughs> it's uh, a double pane in this version. <laughs> <laughs> that Doberman was a little bit more inbred. He's kind of the dumb one. <laughs> Ow. He's a Doberman. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they completely rebuilt the, the characters, at least the main characters, because... There's details that were not there before. That looks great. Look at that handsome mug. Nah, that's a face only a zombie could love. It's locked. It's an old-fashioned lock that's rather simple in mechanism. So, your should, boot should take care should of it. Should easily be able to kick it over. Kick it down. Now, check this room out. Harden X Air Force guy who can only carry six items and cannot kick down rusty old doors. Oh, I'm sure there's nothing suspicious going on here. Well, there's something suspicious. Doesn't look like it's been serviced in a while. <laughs> I haven't been serviced in a while either, let me tell you. This scenario worked well for Jack in The Shining. <laughs> I'll take a rotting, walking corpse over a elderly, naked succubus any day. <laughs> All right, let's drain the zombie stew. It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug. Sure, I'm an idiot. Why would you ever do this? <laughs> Stick your hand into that dark <laughs> that's water. <laughs> that's motor oil. Yeah. Oh, well. I was impersonating a tea bag, and you ruined it. Just another day at the old folks' home. Blood, bath, and beyond. <laughs> nice. So I'm uncomfortable with how close this stone is to me. Oh. Okay. Now this is the condition I usually leave the bathroom in. Dead body sprawled out on the floor. A bathtub full of something foul. A toilet that looks like a sex crimes victim. <laughs> eh, we better call SVU to come fix this toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Sewage Victims Unit. 